Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. Hopefully you've enjoyed your morning. I've given away a lot of prizes, but now I'm going to change my uh, tone a little bit. I'm going to be talking with David Rush and Dr. Coleman, and they've got some really important information that I need you to listen to because they're here to educate us. Dr. Coleman, David Rush, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you for having us. How are you doing today? I'm good. Dr. Coleman, I'm going to start with you because you're here to educate us about a potentially serious medical condition. Before we get into David's story, tell us about kidney failure. Absolutely. Thank you. You know, one of the things that really strikes us is that unfortunately, oftentimes chronic kidney disease or CKD is very asymptomatic. As you'll hear in David's story, it's something that really can, uh, almost be intimidating, uh, if you will, to start off with. So we're here today to talk a little bit about chronic kidney disease, about how it disproportionately affects the black and minority community, and really get that patient awareness out there so that folks can appreciate how to live better with CKD and and really hopefully prevent the progression, if at all possible. Dr. Coleman, it says that you're a practicing physician in the low country of Georgia and South Carolina. So that means you see these cases more often, maybe than a big city. Uh, and, and I'm sorry to use that analogy, but you know, someone in a large city like Dallas, you're seeing more cases of those. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh, no, don't be sorry to use the analogy at all. I'm very happy, very proud to be a private practice nephrologist. I have a large patient population and, and really that's what we're working to do today is to get that education out there because I will tell you, oftentimes when I see patients for the first time in my office, they're scared, they're nervous, they don't know much about kidney disease because unfortunately the education just hasn't been put out there. Uh, and, and as a result, what I'm really hoping to do today by partnering up with David is to really get that awareness level up and really make sure that we offer the opportunity for patients to start off with a good discussion guide with their pa- with their doctors and start that relationship early from a more positive outlook so that patients know what to look for and they know how to really attack that subject head on and, and really get the ball rolling so that, again, their education uh, is really paramount. You know, David said earlier, knowledge is power, and I think that's so Uh, appropriate, especially when it comes to CKD. So one of the things I would like to direct your viewers to is really the website unfilteredkidneyconversations.com. That's where you'll find a great starting block, if you will, discussion guide for your doctors and really help build that relationship between the doctor and patient. Okay, we're going to come back because I've got just one more medical question for you. But David, you are a a well-known musician, uh, probably in the middle of your career. Is this when you find out you've got this problem? Tell me a little bit about that. It actually started like right at the beginning uh, of my career. Actually, I think I signed my deal uh, with Pitbull like right when I started to do dialysis. So it was kind of like a weird spot for me. I thought maybe it would go the opposite direction, being that I was sick. But he actually um, loved the fact that I was still vibrant and moving and doing music at the same time. And that kind of, you know, catapulted him to even want to work with me more. Um, But of course, it affected me in ways as far as energy and all those type of things. But it did also affect me in a positive way to be able to put those things into my music and, you know, kind of become a voice for my community, you know, my CKD community, my warriors that are out there to kind of 
put this word out about it and, and give knowledge like we talk about, just to give knowledge and, and try to be a, a vessel and a voice for those people at the same time through music and through doing uh, motivational speaking and advocacy work. David, I don't know a lot of, about chronic kidney disease, so forgive me for my question, but with your, uh, uh, d your status of chronic kidney disease, does it require ongoing treatment or dialysis or something like that or just medication? It definitely uh, requires dialysis. Some patients maybe might not require dialysis, but I do. I've been, you know, doing dialysis for quite some time. I was even transplanted in 2010, and it lasted me for seven years. But now I'm back on dialysis, doing it three times a week, uh, four and a half hours at a time. And of course, these are questions. That question is not a bad question. A lot of people just don't have the knowledge of it. So for things like that, I partnered up with AstraZeneca and we have unfilteredkidneyconversations.com that was mentioned earlier. And all these questions and discussions can be talked about there and kind of give us opportunity to ask these questions. There is no dumb question. People just don't have the knowledge about it. And that's what we're here for, to kind of educate people and prevent these things from happening. And also if you're in it, to help you to live a better life during it. David, thank you so much for sharing your story. But before I let you go, what's going on with you music wise? Cause it doesn't seem like you've been slowed down. No, music can never slow down. Music has been a lifestyle for me for so long and it's helped me get through so many things. You can check me out on any streaming network right now. Just type, type in David Rush, I'll come up. A whole bunch of different styles of music you can listen to, work out to, dance to, cook to, whatever you want to do. Um, but constantly doing music, working with a lot of great artists, upcoming, big and small, and just trying to keep myself um, relevant in the music game. And I'm blessed to be able to do so while going through my journey. Well, we're glad you're still here. So thanks for sharing your story. Dr. Coleman, for thanks chronic so kidney disease, uh, um, does, the user, does the person impacted, do they usually find out through, do you do pre-testing or does it, is it something that comes on all of a sudden? I think that's real important to tell our audience. You know, I couldn't agree with you more. This is something, chronic kidney disease can be evaluated and identified on just routine lab work. So I encourage folks to work with their doctors, go to your annual exams, get routine lab work done, really take care of yourself and make sure that you've got someone invested in your health care. And, and then again, for more opportunities to learn about the other disease states like anemia, low blood count, hyperkalemia, high potassium, things that don't seem to intersect with kidney disease, please feel free to, uh, to check out unfilteredkidneyconversations.com. That'll provide you such a great starting block and really get that ball rolling. Dr. Coleman, David, you've been such wonderful guests educating my audience. This is what I do for a living, so I'm always looking for the best people on the planet, and you guys fulfilled that for me once again today. So thanks for being here on the Balder BB Thank Show. You. Thank you so much Thank for the you opportunity. Thank you for having us. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.